Hello, I'm Valerie Shodine, and thank you for joining me as we take a look at how to layer these new stencils from Stencil Girl Products. I'm so excited about these designs. Here, I'm going to start with the grass. Good place to start. I'm using Green Gold by Golden and a cosmetic sponge to start. You can see I also squirted out a little bit of the teal. I'm going to use that in just a little bit for the sky. There, now I'm going on to the trees. And so I'm going to paint actually the negative of the trees, which is the background or sky. This stencil is so versatile, it could just be used on its own. But I like this idea of layering stencils, and then you can always go back with pen or collage, various things. It's very versatile. This paper I'm using, it's really rough kind of paper, and it's handmade. And normally I would treat it with clear gesso, and I may wish I did. But you saw that I put some glazing liquid on first, and that just helps the paint not soak into the paper as fast and give a little wiggle room to smudge around the paint with the glazing liquid. So I'm kind of interested to see the difference between this side of the page and then the other side, which is a smoother type of watercolor paper. The paint I'm using here for the bark is Quinacridone Nickel Ozzo Gold with a little bit of glazing liquid. And I'm starting with the lighter first and adding just a little bit of the raw umber. Then when I'm done with that, I will go in with more of the raw um umber to clarify and define the tree bark, the trees, a little bit more. And now the leaves. Now, the leaves do match up with some of these here, but not all of the tree branches. So it's more of a random kind of smattering of leaves. And that's what I'm doing here is not being careful about how I put them down just looking for some white space. And I'm using green gold here as the first layer of leaves. It's a beautiful color, the yellow green. It's very transparent, so it kind of looks like sunlight is shining through. I think some of the white showing through adds to a bit of the sparkle. And you'll see that I just turn it and look for white spaces and put some of the leaves in there. Okay, now I'm going to add some turquoise thalo and add that over the other leaves. I like that. Instantly it adds depth to the page. Okay, now on this side of the page, it's a smooth watercolor paper. And I wonder how the stencil will take to this because the other side definitely looks a little blotchy, but I really like it. So now here I'm doing the same thing and just going over with the green gold. You saw that I turned it upside down because I want it to look kind of like a canopy of leaves. And I shifted them just over a little bit so it would look like there's layers of leaves on top of one another. And then as I look, I just look for white spaces and fill them in stenciling leaves here and there. Now I'm going to take the tape off. I taped the birds off before the swallows in flight. And here I'm going to use Payne's Gray and stencil some of them on. And now I'm going to just put grass on this side, just like I did on the other side. Decided to add a little of the turquoise in there, and I like that more, so we may as well do that on this side. Sorry I went off the video there, didn't mean to. Um, now I'm going to put some pyrrole orange to dot those little flowers, and I'll probably go back with pen later and add some more pen work to those, but right now I'm happy with it. So I'm going to put some glazing liquid on the whole entire background of that page, and it took it very well, 
and mix some teal in with that. My goal is to make it look similar to the other side and it will be ready for collage and writing and journaling. I decided that this was a celebration with these new stencils and so I got my Bible journal figure stencil out and this dancing woman, I just love this figure. So I put it, I drew around it, cut it out of tissue paper. Since I have glazing liquid on my palette there, I use that, although I usually don't recommend using it. If this was any heavier than tissue paper, it wouldn't work well and I'd use matte medium instead. But it worked and now I'm going to add some flowers to the other side and call it done. Oh, I like it. What a great beginning and it seems very celebratory. Thank you for joining me and bless you as you stencil.